obviously I grew up in London, England, where you know football is just a part of the culture. It's a religion. It's in the fabric of the people. So I started playing about five years old. Um, we call it Sunday League football. So I played on a bunch of different club teams over there. Um, a team called Barking Colts, a team called Redbridge United. And these aren't professional teams. It's just um, Sunday League teams, but they go all the way up until you know, under 10s, under 11s, under 12s, all the way to the adult leagues. And so I've played there all for about like three or four years. And then I was at a tournament. I got scouted by Arsenal. And once Arsenal scouted me, I spent five years at Arsenal. And that was, you know, traveling the world, playing against some of the best academies in the world. I went to like Andorra and to Belgium and to Italy and to Holland several times. And it was a great experience. And, um, you know, every week playing against the best teams in and around London primarily. And then tournaments for the country like Liverpool and Manchester. You play some of those teams every now and then. So that was kind of my start in it. Um, you know, and then Arsenal released me when I was 14, um, just before I turned 15. And then, you know, I had a motorcycle accident and a few things that kind of derailed me. Um, tried to get back into the game and tried out with a bunch of teams in Europe, um, several teams, and eventually decided that my best bet would be to come to the States and ended up on a scholarship at the University of Akron in Ohio, which at the time nobody knew. And now it's a college soccer powerhouse. Um, I played there for Caleb Porter, who ended up being the Portland Timbers head coach. So he brought me to this country and I did my freshman year. We did really well. My sophomore year, we did even better. Should have done, should have, should have done better than we did, but we did well. Um, that's the year, you know, I had like a breakout year, led the nation in scoring. And then Ziggy Schmid, who used to coach the Columbus crew in Ohio, and would visit my games in Akron up the street from Columbus. Um, he came to Seattle and he drafted me number one in 2009. And that was really the start of my pro career.